Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Saint Swiss, and today I am back with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team gameplay. Um, not really gameplay, just uh, we're going to go over the new solos and sets and new packs uh, that came out today when the game officially launched for like the standard edition. Um... Yeah, so let's see the solos. Uh, first, let's just check on my team. I will be posting a um, like a seasons gameplay, hopefully very soon. I will be uh, streaming over at uh, Twitch, so I'll post my Twitch down in the description. I will be doing all the solo challenges. Um, I think I, I completed the campaign. I haven't opened those packs yet or put them in the sets. I've just been really busy with work, but I've done the campaign. I'm halfway done with the rookie gauntlet. And that's pretty much it. That's where I stand right now. So this is my team. Um, nothing really exciting on offense. I'm still trying to power up this AB and fully max out my Randy Moss. But that's going to take time because training points this year are very hard to get. Unless you buy the Pierre Garçon. But I'm not trying to spend my coins. So defensively, we're looking all right. Um, don't really have anybody good to use her. Uh, Zach Brown's pretty all right. Um, let's see his speed real quick. I think he has like 80 something speed if that 81 not bad um so yeah this is my team my offense and defense i don't think I, I think i showed it last video but it was like a 70 something overall so that's that i've been grinding man you know just like it's madden season so you gotta grind let's check out these packs so you got the hall of fame bundle the canton bundle and the inductees pack so this pack the inductees pack which is um 400 points which you have to purchase. It contains two auctionable 77 overall Canton bound players, one additional 75 plus gold or better players, one additional gold or better player, two additional 66 silver or better player, and two additional silver or better players. So what these cards are, the 77 overall Canton bound players, they actually go into a set, which I'll show you guys later if you guys haven't already seen it. So these are the odds for this pack, you know, 28% for 80 plus. It's like I think it's standard like gold premium pack, so that's that. So it's the Canton bundle uh, for 2,200 points. So you get contains two contains 12 Canton packs and two inductees pack. So you get two inductees and then the Canton pack. Oh, this is the Canton pack right here. So the Canton pack contains one Nat 77 overall Canton bound player, two 66 plus silvers better player, and three additional silver better players. So that's, eh, I mean, I honestly don't think you should waste your coins on this. I honestly don't think I'm going to invest in this, um, this, like, bundle or this program. Uh, I'm not really just failing it. Um, honestly, I'm kind of disappointing with this launch bundle. But some people like it. Some people are pulling fire. I mean, it is a way to upgrade your players, but we'll get to that soon. And then the, the 5,850 points is the Hall of Fame bundle. So this bundle contains 15 inductee packs, a topper pack of 12 auctionable 77 overall Canton Bound players, and an 80 overall Hall of Fame fantasy topper. So if you didn't get the Hall, sorry. So if you didn't get the Hall of Fame edition, this is your chance to get the Hall of Fame players from that fantasy pack. Um, I got the Hall of Fame edition. I got Rod Woodson at an 80 overall. Um, I, I might just upgrade him to an 85 because you can't get him higher. But I'll show you that in a second. So this is for the people that got the standard edition and want to get, you know, Dan Marino, uh, Trell Davis, I think Brian Urlacher, uh, T.O., and just one more player, Rod Woodson. So, yeah, this is for you. If you got the standard edition and you want to invest uh, $50 into this, then go ahead. You know, just make your team a little better. So that's that. That's the um, packs that came out today. Uh, nothing really, you know, like I said, nothing really good. So now let's go check out the sets. Now, it's the Hall of Fame, I believe it's called. Yeah, Hall of Fame. So from here, you can add any silver for a random 77 overall Nat Counting Bound player. I'll do that real quick. You know, very quick. Uh, let's do you, add them to the set. So now I get any random 77 overall Counting Bound player. Let's see. Dan Marino. Now with this Dan Marino, um, so this one, all right, so now this one, you can you can put any series trophy. So like the series one trophy. I, If you have extra lying around, go ahead. But personally, I will not be adding any of the um, of trophies into there. It's really not worth it. So 
So now this one, add all five can bound players, meaning you have to add one of each, uh, Dan Marino, Terrell Davis, Terrell Owens, Brian Urlacher, and Rob Woodson, to get a Hall of Fame fantasy pack, um, to get another Hall of Fame player. So now this one, you can add any can bound players, um, I think any eight can bound players, to get a tier six Hall of, Fa Hall of Fame football collectible, which you then add into you know, when you upgrade your Hall of Fame player, it has a cap, which is 85, I believe. And then from there, you add these collectibles, so the football, and then you add the building, and then the podium, bust, and the gold jacket, and it'll bring it up to a 90 overall. So it just goes up one overall for every collectible you put into it. That's if you want to invest into that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to invest in it, most likely. Oh, okay. So... That, those are the sets. Now the solo challenges, I might bring him up one overall, like probably take like an 86, only because these Hall of Fame, um, the Hall of Fame solo challenges actually give you a player. So this one's a daily one. It um, refreshes every day, so you have a chance to get one player every day. Now these ones, so they have the Dan Marino one, Terrell Davis, Terrell Owens, Rod Woodson, Brian Urlacher. You do all of these, I believe you get two of each. So let's see, you get a Dan Marino item and a Dan Marino item. And then, so you get two of each for completing. So that's a total of two, four, six, that's 10. Plus the daily, that's 11 in one day. And then, you know, daily you'll get plus one. So honestly, if you wanna save some money, just do the solos, bring your Hall of Flame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Flame, uh, Hall of Fame player up and overall. Uh, makes makes sense. But then there's Hall of Fame objectives. So this is all. I believe you have to use the players to do these, obviously. So you have Dan Marino's. So it's like passing. Uh, it's kind of a lot, honestly. 362 completed passes. This is 24. That means you're just going to probably just do solo challenges, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just do solo challenges. Like do the rookie gauntlet one was like pass for a touchdown from 99 yards out. Just do that. Um, for, for the passing touchdowns and yards for the completions. That's all up to you the TD one um, I don't know how I'm gonna approach this uh, it's, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot of stuff to do like Terrell Owens red zone trips 51st downs those two are fairly easy. I think you should get to the red zone with him and then the Woodson sacks uh, eh, eh, The Woodson interceptions or lacquer so like I feel like these are just very like tedious uh, you really don't have to do them but they're just very tedious just for like that little extra um, like you know you just for the extra players like this one you get one you get one Demery now so that's then you get a Terrell it's two uh, three I think you just get three players from here so yeah so you just get three players from doing that and some coins Probably get an additional, which I didn't see. So that's the Hall of Fame um, promo that's going on right now. You could invest. But then if you see right here, I forgot to mention, the two limited time players. Oof. Now, this is the only reason why I want to open packs, because of these two players. Um, there's four, but the top two are... are um, I'll show you right now. Sorry. The program... All right, okay. So there's four limited time players. You got Morton Anderson, Ray Guy, and then you got Steve Smith Sr. and Ed Reed. Yes, we got Ed Reed, man. Like a strong safety, that's a beast, man. Let's compare him to my strong safety who I have right now. I have Micah High. Look at that. Tackles one off, whatever. But look at the zone, 93 zone, 87 man. 92 pursuit 92 play rec 80 power his power should be a little more but come on now that's ridiculous like this card is broken this early in madden like if if, you, if you're playing against somebody that has an ed reed i advise you just to back out and if they have a fully upgraded sean taylor back out there's no way you're winning that game <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you just do what you gotta do to try to catch that dub and then we have steve smith senior check him out 89 speed 85 jump 90 catch 91 catch in traffic 86 spectacular catch 
90 short route run, 87 medium route run, 89 deep route run. So overall, this is a very balanced card. Um, probably the best receiver in the game stat wise. Um, you know, people are still probably gonna be running Tyree Kill because he's just a beast powered up. But this Steve Smith is nasty. Like we'll compare him to, I, I don't know what happened, but I think I missed my chance to get Tyree Kill. I think I waited too long to buy the pack and it just like went away. So I'm like, whatever. So let's compare him to Brandon Cooks. Um, look at the speed, just plus two speed. You know, he just destroys him in all stats because it's Steve Smith. But now I'll compare him to AB. Uh, you could bait. I think these two, I mean, they're pretty much the same height wise. Yeah, so you're obviously going to be using Steve Smith if you have them. But, you know, just look at that. Come on now. It's, there's... You know, there's 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 no debate on what the best card is in the game right now, and that's probably Steve Smith. So if you're able to pull him or able to purchase him, you know, bless you, because you're gonna like just go deep, and he's gonna be catching everything. So that's gonna be it for the video. Like I said, I will be streaming over at twitch.tv slash saying underscore swiss i will put the link down in the description um you know hit that notification bell just to see when the video goes up or new videos go up rather and to see when i'm streaming so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new here and as always peace out girl scouts